שלוש, בוקר טוב, אנחנו מתחילים עם המסכת יבמות נפצה די חטא עמוד א' 98A1. The Gemara answers and just said over here, who had in the filo yisur and amileka, even if we're going to say that there's no yisur that a banan, to do with here the marriage between the two, the brothers and their wives, because they were going. Now I did the Bible meet the Seifa, and now we have the Seifa. Aval chayavin, but they're going to be chayavin karet because of the shta. Tadinim leicha leisha, so now we're also going to say that leisha, and chayavin, that there's not going to be any sur because of karet of eshet ah. Amar Rava, Rava said, Had amur abanan, that which we said in the Mishnah, the Brayta, en av le Mitzri, there's no father for a Mitzri, and the same halacha would apply to any goy. Meaning any goy does not have a father. Right? You ask, a goy, a goy does not have a father. Right? What does that mean? Here it says, because we always say that we're talking about in any type of a goy, because we don't know who the father is. Not only are you going to say that we should have the zima, because they are promiscuous, which means that they always do immoral relations. The lo yadiyah, but we don't even know who the father is. Aval yadiyah, but if you do know who the father is, chayshinan, then we do suspect of the father. Ela filu tiyadiyah nami lo chayshinan. Even if you know who the father is, we don't suspect for the father. Meaning nowadays, you have DNA tests. You could, te- you could check who the father is. Right? You could know 100%. This is the father. It doesn't matter. He has no father. A goy does not have a father. Yeah? The ha shnei achim to omir. Because you have two brothers, right, which are twins. These were identical twins. It was one drop that split into two, that he had the identical twins. The Ketani Seifa, we still learned in the Seifa, Cholfim, the Lord of Sorry, no Cholfim. They don't do Palitza, they do Yibum. Shmamina, we learn from here, that there's no, there's, even if there's no Safek, it doesn't matter. The Torah made his children have get let me know, ownerless. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ownerless. Ownerless. No owners. There's no there, owners. There, after. Hefker. Ownerless. Tichtiv is said in a pasuk by the Mitzrim. Besar hamorim besaram. Vezirmat susim zirmatam. The ever at the their male organ, right? And also their zera, right? Their semen is like of hamorim and susim. It's like of horses and of, of donkeys, which means their children have no family closeness to them. So Goy does not have a father, right? Tashema. We're going to bring another machlok also. The Amir of Yosef says, we say, Ma'asev and Iftaim again. There was a story with Iftaim again. Shinasa eshet achi meimo. That he got married to his brother's wife from the mother. Uva ma'asev ifnei chachamim. And the, the story came in front of the rabbis. The Amru and they said, any shoot again. It's permitted. There's no issues for again. So therefore, there's no problem. He was allowed to do that. Why? There's nothing there. The Ella Ger de Kadish Hachi Nami Lotas Bikidushi. So he says, one second. So if a Ger is going to come and do Kidushi, it's not going to be called uh, uh, to fetch Kidushi. If a Ger comes and he gets married, obviously it's a good marriage. Ella Ema Beradi said, no, any Surah Shtahi again. There is a marriage, meaning once a person converts, he could get married, he could do all these things, 100%, but there's no issue food of Eshet Ah, meaning that he could get married to the brother's wife. Why? There was no family connection. There's nothing there. So says the Gemara, my love, the Nasba Ach Keshuge. Are we not talking about a case where the brother of Naftim got married after he already converted? And therefore the Kiddushim should be Tosim. And the bride is still said it's going to be permitted. He says, no. He got married to her when he was a goy. Okay? So he says, no. I would have thought to say, I would have thought to say, make a Gezira. When he's a, ge- a goy, because when he's becoming a get now, which means I would have thought to say that you need to make a gazerat to prohibit him, right? So therefore, I, even after he converts, Kamash Malanda, we don't say that. Tashema, we also learned in the writer, the Amar Ben Yasian, that says Ben Yasian, when I went to Krachayam, I found the get that he got married to Eshet Achid Meimo, that he got married to the brother's wife from the mother. Amartilo and I told him, Vini, my son, Mishikha, who permitted you to get married to her? Amarli, he said, This woman converted and also her seven children. And they got married. And each one got married to Ishto Shalachi after they converted. Right? According to Rabbi Akiva. Al Sabsal Zen Rabbi Akiva Yashav Amar Shedwani. So he said, Yen no se shakim. 
So Mekiva went and he said that again he get married to his brother's wife. The Amadi said, that the, the, the Shkina only spoke to him a second time and not a third time. Right? So he says, No, we learned. No, we learned. We learned that he already got married to her when he was a kid. Right? That the brother got married to her when he was a kid. That's his Gemara law. He got married to her when he was a boy. So, what are you talking about that? If he was a boy, so what do I care? Right? You understand what happened? The woman converted, and her seven children converted with her. And each one of them was married. And each one of them took the sister-in-law. Each one of them took another sister-in-law. It was permitted. So he says, You would have thought you could make a gizera that was of the goy because when he converts, we don't make such a gizera. So says the Gemara, is the person believe? Imagine right now, I tell right, Mordechai. Right? I tell Mordechai a certain alakha. And I say, Mordechai, who permitted you to do that? So Mordechai comes and says, be a big rabbi, gadol ador, he came and he told me that. Or you believe? If I'm asking you something, who permitted you? And now you're going to tell me, it's some we're talking, and all of a sudden you come and you say, this big rabbi, he said this is permitted. And then you went and you did it, or something that, I can understand, maybe. But if I come and ask you, who permitted you to do that? And then you tell me, you tell me maybe you invented it. Just so that way you, you get me off your back. But really, by match, you're not telling me the truth. So you believe? Any that comes and he says halacha, in kodem If he said it before, so then we listen to him. love, but if not, and we don't listen to him. Because imagine if right now the rabbi gives halacha, and then afterwards he does according to the halacha, it's permitted. But if the rabbi doesn't say anything, and all of a sudden he does something, and then you ask, rabbi, it's permitted? He says yes. Maybe the rabbi is just saying that in order to get, you know, he just did something. He's not going to say it's wrong. So he's going to say that. We don't listen to him. So he might say, if you want, you can answer more by No, he always was saying that. That means the girl always used to say that even before he did get married to the sister-in-law. He might say, if you want, you can answer. Once he said, the woman and her seven children. So that's why it's like a raya. Because it wasn't only for him. It was the woman and her seven children. They all did the same thing. He also brought down another psaq with it, the case of Rabbi Akiva and Yuna. So since he gave another psaq with it, it was all together. So we believed it. But he didn't only just say this halakha. He said this halakha was another halakha. So since he said both halakha together, we're going to believe it. Amar Mor, Mor said, what does that mean that Rabbi Akiva just mentioned? The Shekhinah only spoke to Yuna a second time around, but not a third time around. So he says, "Vakti v'tretin, who is she that bully Sami and Mochamat at Yom Araba? Kidvar Hashem, Hashem dibe biad Avdo Yonah ben Amitai Navi." So it's written that the 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 Shechina did speak to Yonah Navi an extra time. So Am Ravina, Am Ravina says, "Are you scared of Yivek?" No, on a third time to do it in Yivek, he didn't speak to him. Meaning to do it in Yivek, he only spoke twice. He didn't speak to him three times. And the Chacham Ritzchak comes and the Chacham Ritzchak comes and he says, "Hachi comes." This is what he needs to say. Kidvar Hashem, Hashem dibe biad Avdo Navi. Just like Ninve, which was the city of Goyim, they did Teshuvah and they became from evil doers to people that became Tzadikim, so too during the times of Yorvam and Yuash, they pachlen and we said, so too they changed from the bad to the good. Tashema, we're going to go back to the what we spoke about before, the between Yorach and Yaakov and Sheshat, and now we're going to say the Alaha. Tashema, we're going to say like this, Gershaya, Horatosh, Lobi Tisham, Lobi Tisha, again, that he was conceived, so the wife, the mother became pregnant when she was not Jewish. And then she gave birth when she was Jewish. She's got family members inside the mother and not the father. Case, what's the case? Right, you'll see if he gets married to his sister from the mother, he has to leave her. But if he got married to the sister from the father, he could stay married to her. If he gets married to the aunt, from the father, uh, from the uh, from the father, you'll see he has to divorce her. Av, the sister of the father, from the mother, he has to divorce her. Right? Mina Av, from from the father though, Yekayim, he's allowed to stay married to the aunt. Right? We're in Tzadicheta Mubet, and Yehi. Okay. Achota M, Mina M, you'll see if it's going to be the sister of the mother from the mother, he has to get out of her. But if it's going to be from the father, he could he could stay. 
Rabbi Mina says you'll see you should leave her, and it means that you could stay. Shayr Rabbi Mina Omer Kulav Hashem Mishum Shayraim Yotzi Mish Yotzi Mishum Ha'Av Yikayim. He says anything which is Mishum Shayraim, which means a sit, meaning because of the mother, that you have to get rid of it. But if it's going to be because of the father, you could leave. Umutar Beishet Achim is allowed to come to the wife of the brother. Ubeishet Achiyaviv or the wife of the of the aunt, meaning meaning the wife of the aunt, the father's uh, brother. Or any other type of alayot, it's or maybe permitted to. La tu ye eshetav to include even the father's wife. Well, that means after the father dies, he's allowed to give it to his father's wife because he doesn't have a father, right? So you see many times, even in alacha, that a person could not, does not have a lachic father. Here, this guy, he doesn't have a father. He has a mother, he doesn't have a father. Okay? Nasai shall be died. He got married to the mother and the daughter. He gets married to one. But then he has to get rid of the other one. But obviously, the he can't get married to both of them. Meta ishto, if the wife dies, mutar b'chamoto, he's allowed to get married to the mother-in-law. Okay? Be'ikad the tani, the tani say, no, it's true b'chamoto. It's permitted to get married to the mother-in-law. Right? Tani miyat, however, though we did say, mutar b'shet achim. He's permitted to get married to the sister-in-law. My love, the nasla achim, because you'll get it. We're not talking about where the, the brother got married when he's already married, he's already Jewish. And so, no, no. The nasla kishof, he got married to him when he was a goy. So, no, no, obviously. If the brother got married to this woman when he was a boy, there's nothing there. And so the Gemara, how the time would it not say leaves of Kishu Avek Chaim at the Kishu again? Make a Gizera when he's a Avek Chaim when he's a Gizera. Kamash Malan, we don't make a Gizera. Amar Mor Mor says, "Nasai Shal Bitak Kones Achal Uti Achal Tzilol Yifnos." This guy comes and he gets married to a woman and the daughter. So he gets married to one of them and he has to get rid of the other. Lechatchilas, you should get married to both of them. Says the Gemara, "Hash Tapuke Mempi Lechatchilas." If you already told me that he has to divorce one of them. So obviously, you can't get married to both of them. So he says, no, Hatam Kaim, we're over there. The Achim Kaim, this is what we say. Hatam, the Rebbe, which the Rabbi say, Yekayem, what does it mean, Yekayem? Lechatchila, no Yechonos. It means even if we said Yekayem, which means he could stay married to them, Lechatchila, don't get married to them. Meaning, if you already got married to them, stay married to them, but don't get married to them, Lechatchila. Meta Yishto, Mutar Mechonot, if the wife died, he's allowed in their mother-in-law, and some people say he's permitted in the mother-in-law. One of them is like Rabbi Shmael, one of them is like Rabbi Akiva. Man de Astar, the one that says the Sur is like a Mishmael, and he said, Chabotol, Lachav, Itav, Yisura, Kaka. That means basically there's a Machlok. A person, his wife dies. Can he get married to the mother? Now we're talking about regular Jews. Regular Jews. So he says over here, Rabbi Ishmael says, Chabotol, Lachav, Itav, the mother, even after death, is still prohibited. It's still prohibited. It's prohibited. Vigav again, it was the Rabbanan. The one that says it's permitted, so Vekiva. The Vekiva says that the mother, after death, Kalash Isura, it's much lighter of an Isur. It's still a Sur, but it's much lighter Isur. And to do it again, they didn't make a, a decree. So since they didn't make a decree, again, would be able to get married to his mother in law after the death of the wife because it was lightened that, um, that prohibition. Next Mishnah, Mishnah. You have five women that their children got mixed up, right? And we don't know who are the children. Right, that means each woman had a child, but we don't know who's who, who's the mother, who's the, the, the child. Now, by the way, in the olden days, this could be very, like nowadays, they make sure that the second the child is born, they put in the hospitals. And even with that, there was a lot of stories, right, of stealing children and all that. You remember, it wasn't, uh, it was mixing, stealing children, right? We're talking about tons of stories. We're not talking about a thousand years ago. We're talking about the 30, 40 years ago. You understand, there was a lot of stories. You understand, so you have to be very, very careful. So, they became older, and they got married. and they died. Four of them, four of them have to do to this one, one woman. Imagine, they're five women. We don't know exactly, right, who's who, right? Now, each of these five went, right, and they got married. So now when this guy dies, right, we don't know who's the meaning. We don't know who's the real brother. We don't know, right? One of the brothers died. We don't know who's the real. So therefore, it says over here, "Do not have a vote in a sunashi vametu." Right? What's the the lachot of the brothers to do the chadesh almanot? So arba'ah from tzila achat, the four different brothers of the family members have to do chalitan. Only one of them can do ibum. Who ushlosha from tzila achat? Right? And then him and the other three do chalitza, and one does ibum. So it comes out that each one of them gets done one, four chalitzot and one ibu. Because we don't know who's, who's who. So because of that, everyone understood the case. 
Yeah, you have it. Oh, okay, fine. First, they have to always do the chalitza and then the ibum. But ibum and reisha lo, but you can't do ibum first. The kapaga be yivama should be if not, and you're doing the yivama. That means that she had to go to the marketplace, and now you're going to marry her, so it's going to be a problem. So first, everyone has to do chalitza. So if they, the other four did chalitza, now she can technically go get married to the shuk or to do the ibum with the last one. My who shall shall continue? How? What does it mean now in the gemara when it says that he and three other ones do chalitza to one? We're not going to say that one of them is going to do Yibum to everybody. Each one of them can do Yibum. Maybe it's going to come out his own brother that he did the Yibum to. So Tanan Obanam also went in the Braita. Part of them are brothers and part of them are not brothers. The ones which are brothers do Chalitza. And the ones which are not brothers are doing a Yibum. My Kamar, what is the case? Amar Rav Safra says of Safra, Hachi Kamar. Part of them are brothers from the father and part of them are brothers from the mother. You have the picture there. The brothers from the mother, they do chalitza because they can't do yibum. They do the yibum. Some of them are kwanim and some of them are not kwanim. The kwanim do chalitza. They're not kwanim. They're not going to do chalitza. They do chalitza. They don't do yibum. 